hey hello friend welcome back to this series uh, so this is the uh, third video i think uh, of active directory migration so last video we have configured uh, you know xyz domain and abc domain let's open uh, yeah it has configured and restarted right let's log in with the uh, source domain it is very secret i cannot tell you and you also don't tell the password and don't say it to anyone okay let's log in the target domain also sorry okay so what you will do here see uh, the target domain and uh, the source domain it's a different uh, domain right and there is no connectivity but in the test and moment i am given the same range of ip but uh, let's be create the connectivity and we need to you know create the dns uh, for, i mean we need to add the uh, create the conditional forwarders here and uh, what is here and then uh, we need to create trust between them so for that what i will do here let's take a okay let's uh, the server manager load it uh, yeah target domain also it's not loading uh, it will load it okay let's go to here network shedding and then the source domain also we will go to here in this bay ncpa.cpl this command will open your the network configuration okay so here this is your uh, network you go to the properties so i think i have opened my base machines network i'm sorry i'm really sorry i need to close this one and uh, i have to be you know uh, yeah i should open from here dot hmm. cpl i will open from this machine and go to the targeted and here also same thing we need to perform cpa dot cpa oh it is open no need to open again so here i need to check the dns is perfect or not yeah go to the properties yeah see it has changed to loopback address so we need to change the dns uh, here I ninety two one sixty eight two zero seven dot one forty three correct one forty three that's fine and here also we need to change for the properties properties but once you configure you know the as a domain DNS server that DNS address automatically change to loopback address I know to, no need to explain about the loopback address because this is not the chapter lessons to explain the loopback address. I think I have uploaded some video already. Uh, you understand there. State 207-142. What are the loopback address? Okay. So same DNS configured over here. Let's look. Okay. Uh, so so before you know uh, in production environment we need to create the connected but in in my lab and i have given the same range ip but even though let's check whether it is ping or not okay uh ping to 192.168.207.143 right yes able to ping from 43 we need to ping from target to we need to ping uh, source also whether it is able to ping or not go to the command prompt ping to 192.168.207.143 dot uh, right yeah uh, both side it pinged but uh, if you look at here it cannot be resolved see i put an ns lookoff okay 140 is demand came but if you put it 192.168.207.143 uh, it won't happen see it's unknown 
unknown request okay so for that we need to configure the dns so open go to the source domain and dns is here otherwise you can go to the tool or dns manager you will open here okay it's abc right so in the dns manager you go to the forwarders okay uh, here the forwarders is there one second yeah we need to be uh, type the name here forwarders 192.168.207.207.143 uh, 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 correct just enter it it will take time to resolving no worries fly okay go to the same target domain here same thing you need to be do here also what you done in uh, source domain and an xy should go to the forwarders same do the edit uh, type here 192 168.2 uh, 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 207.142 right that is 143 because you need to put the you know source domain ip here and target domain and target domain you need to put source domain and source domain you need to put target domain okay it will take time sometime apply okay okay let's go here okay still it is not right let's uh, i will do something here okay abc is there right i need to create one a record here I don't want to create a record. Let it be. Yeah, it is attempting to resolve. Yes, yes, now it is resolved. See? It has resolved XYZ, right? It's ABC, but it resolved XYZ. No problem. It is taking time. No problem. Here also we need to check. Still it is not, but definitely it will happen. No problem. But we have to wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, we need to wait here. Yeah. Now it is resolved, right? Here also. Okay. That's fine. Uh, now what we will do be uh, the 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 conditional forwarder is done right so let's open my uh, here uh, create ad integration at conditional forward both sides okay and then create ad inter conditional forward this side also check ns lookup connectivity okay and then we create trust relations between both domain so this is the one of the important topic in active directory uh, trust relationship you might not be you know perform also on your career sometimes you know people don't get chance to do it but yes definitely here you will get a chance to know about it and you can perform on your own left so for that what we will do let's uh, go to the source domain go to the tools very simple things you need to do uh, 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 you go to the active directory domain and trust here okay once you open the active directory domain so right click over here go to the properties okay go to the trust go to the new trust click the next it asking the what trust name you can create trust using the netbios name so, so what to whom you want to tell it's a source domain.com right so we need to be put here as a target t a r g e t domain.com perfect click next forest trust click next to be trust click next this domain only both domain specified on the specified domain 
okay the option create trust relationship in the local domain this option create trust relation both local and the specified domain so this you can but here you need to give the password uh, while you creating the trust relation to which domain so we are uh, trusting with the target domain so we need to provide the target domain's password okay it's e d m i n i s t r a t o r administrator password is very secret okay a uh, forest wide authentication needed yes click next 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 do not confirm finish see it is coming came right target domain.com click ok so what if you go to the properties now if you go to the trust so in the source domain so now we are able to see this target domain right it's a, a both transitive it's it's not a non-transitive stand transitive means what both side it's not a single side non-transitive means what it's one side it's a transitive it's a forest trust correct so same thing we have to perform here also in the targeted domain go to the tools active directory domain and trust target domain same thing you need to go to the properties here trust new trust no no need to do here see no need to perform here because uh, once you perform here now it automatically reflect reflect here no need to perform both side you you should be performing one side only it automatically will perform here so uh, that's a great thing so uh, now we can enable this uh, you know domains user from this domain also because we have created the trust relationship between the two domain control right so this is the you know good things to understand about the trust also uh, there are the different kind of trust also there but one of the trust we have performed here it is very important while migrating uh, you know so these steps need to be followed properly okay so thanks for watching this video we will see you on the next video and uh, and we will perform the step by step so do not forget to subscribe my channel as well as like this video and whatever your doubts your questions you can put in comment so i can definitely reply it might be a late but definitely reply it may be a late response but definitely i will reply to you any kind of things you can do it but do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you I'm sorry.